In this video, we are going to show you what is included in the box with the model 324 and 325 wide angle scuba series mask. We will also show you the basics on how to operate the camera mask. Be sure to check the mask sizing guide when selecting your mask for the best fit. In this box is the camera mask, a user manual, there's an AV cable to stream videos and pictures directly to your TV, a USB cable, carrying case, rechargeable batteries, and a charging unit, a silicone grease tube, and a micro SDHC card. Let's get started. Hold the mask with the camera lens facing up and the nose piece closest to your body. Unscrew the caps for the battery compartments. Remove the black battery plug. You may need tweezers or a needle nose pliers to do this. Each battery compartment has space for two AAA batteries. The first battery, the bottom battery, should go in so that the positive side is facing towards you. The next battery on top should have the negative side facing toward you. Replace the battery plugs and then tighten the battery caps down until you have lined up the vertical line on the cap with the little arrow to ensure a waterproof seal. Repeat the process for the other battery compartment. In the top compartment are the media ports. Open this compartment to insert the micro SDHC card or to download your pictures and videos with the USB cable provided. You will need a class 4 or higher card up to 32 gigabytes and then tighten the caps down until you have lined up the vertical line on the cap with the little arrow to ensure a waterproof seal. Over here are the camera controls. Remove the rubber stopper to use the power mode button. When the camera mask turns on you will see a blue light in the upper right hand side of the mask. The light indicates which mode you are in. When you see the blue light, it indicates that you are in 720p mode at 60 frames per second. Push the power mode button and the light will turn green. This indicates you are now shooting in 1080p mode at 30 frames per second. Push the power mode button one more time and the light will turn red. This indicates that you are in 12 megapixel photo mode. Push the button twice more and you will be back to the blue light in 720p mode. To record, press the shutter button. You will see the LED light blinking, which indicates recording is in progress. Before you go out and shoot for the first time, we recommend taking a couple of steps to prepare your mask for use. First, rinse the mask with soap and water. We recommend using Johnson's Baby Shampoo or a similar product that is gentle in case some gets in your eyes. Rinse well and then apply a pea size amount of a paste style toothpaste. The paste has an abrasive material in it which helps prevent fogging. When applied to the inside of the lens, rub in the toothpaste on each lens for about two minutes. Rinse off the mask again. We recommend using Q-tips to clear any toothpaste from the crevices around the lenses. After you've finished cleaning your mask, you're ready for your first dive. If you picked up the mask for a trip, we recommend doing some tests in a pool or even a bathtub. The more you use it, the more comfortable you will be with the settings. After each use, be sure to rinse the mask off with fresh, clean water. You may even make up a solution of one-third baby shampoo to two-thirds of water in a spray bottle so you can thoroughly clean your mask. You may also want to remove the batteries and put the rubber stopper back in place so no pictures or videos will be recorded while the mask is in your bag. 